Good morning, everyone. This is um, Pooh Bear coming at you. Today is um, March 27th. Having a lot of problems with um, cell phone coverage and being able to get out and get our to get um, videos updated and things like that. And even doing our radio interviews. I'm trying to work on that right now. So just kind of bear with us. Um, today we are at. This morning we're starting off at Allen Gap. We're somewhere around mile marker. Um, 289 right now. I'm hoping to maybe do at least 15 miles today. Um, maybe as many as um, 17. We're starting to pick up the pace. I'm going to show you in just a minute. We have a little road campground that we'd set up last night. There's probably about oh, maybe 10 or so people here. We've got some tents set up around. Let me see if I can't move the camera to see if you can see some of the tents that we have out here. It's kind of cool. You can look out and about. Um, a lot of people just kind of came in late late last night. Um, it's really interesting some of the things that we're seeing. You know, the first night, uh, everybody, a bunch of people spent um, took a, either zero day or Nero day, which is less miles to hike in a day, and stopped in Hot Springs, North Carolina, and got supplies. We all joke about you know, we walk into town, our packs are really light. Um, first day back out on the trail. Everybody's got lots of food. Everybody's sharing their food, trying to get um, some of the heavy spoil items. We all kind of share. I know myself, I brought out a big brick of cheese. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it's not, we're hoping that we're going to have some beautiful weather in the next couple of days, it sounds like. So we're going to keep this kind of start hiking. Um, start off, it's a little chilly this morning. Um, but hey, you know, we're all in our tents. I'm it's really warm over the night. We're just going to kind of keep hiking on and just moving on. It looks like, you know, one of my original goals was um, to personal goals was for the month of March to hike somewhere around 350 to 400 miles for the first month then. Um, I think we're gonna, I think I'm going to hit right at about 385 right now is what it's looking like. Well, really, you know me, I'd really like to hit that 400 mark, so I'm going to try to see if I can't pick up the pace just a little bit, get a couple more miles. But right now I'm trying to keep it right around 15 miles a day. Next month we're going to try to take it up to 18 to 20 miles a day. Just kind of letting each day be what it is. Also trying to not be so worried about the miles is to, you know, especially on the northbound trip, is to take time to get to meet some people, hear other people's stories, share our story, share about hiking for wellness and how we want to help other people. I'm going to just ask you to keep watching. Um, oh, and one other thing is, as soon as I get phone signal again, I think we're going to start our t-shirt drive. Um, so keep watching our webpage at hikingforwellness.com. Um, and what we're going to do with the t-shirts is we've got a new sponsor um, It's going to make t-shirts and all, all proceeds from the t-shirts are going to go into our grant or scholarship fund. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be called. Um, I'm guessing right now, just because I haven't you know, really looked into a lot of other places, that we're going to probably give all the money, the profits that we make from that to Sierra Tucson to try to help finance some people to go there for their treatment program. I should just keep watching us and keep reading our blogs. If you have any questions, please drop me an email. As soon as I can get email coverage, I will answer them. Uh, we're having a great time out here. And if you're, if you want to get in on the radio show, as soon as we start getting that going again, we get a phone, get phone signal. Um, you know, call in, ask any questions you have. We're going to kind of try to keep sharing. We're going to get some updates. Um, for those who have been watching the videos, uh, my leg is healed up really well. I am going to have a really nice scar there. It's not infected. I seem to be moving really good with it. Um, I'd say if I have any problems personally right now, is I do have a uh, <clears throat> couple little blisters on a couple of my toes, but even those are feeling better right now. And each day is we're getting a little bit better. I, you know, you notice everybody's getting stronger, getting faster as we're going. And that's kind of what it's about. If you think about, you know, most of us are hiking, you know, probably eight hours a day. Um, we are burning a lot of calories. I think that's one of the other big things that we hear people talking about. Like we were in town over the weekend. Is, Everybody was eating a lot at the restaurants. You know, we were um, joking and talking. Um, we noticed a lot of people are losing, have dropped a bunch of weight. Um, probably on average, I'm guessing, most people have lost around 10 pounds or so. Personally, I think I've lost maybe 10 to 15. All that pre-weight that I gained back intentionally before I came out here, dropped it back off. But, you know, I feel good about it, feel strong. Um, the other thing is you know, we're just making sure that we're stopping to eat during the day. Because we do get tired during the day, that's usually what it is, just not having the ate along. Um, so each week that we go into and stop and get supplies, I'm kind of tweaking my own diet just a little bit. One of the things I'm doing 
to spoil myself with on that is um, I've included like a cocoa espresso kind of thing because you know, I do like a good kind of fit used to Starbucks. Uh, it's basically hot chocolate and instant coffee milk uh, mixed together, which is a good little treat in the morning and in the evenings. Caffeine doesn't seem to keep me up when it's time to go to bed. I'm so tired. I go to bed, um, but and some other things like you know drinking some warm gel and things like that. You, know, you find little treats that you like. And so I try to make sure I take care of those. And if it's about you know, just taking care of yourself at the end of each evening, because you know, if you get to a camp in time, and my goal is usually to try to get there by five or six o'clock. So this way, have some time to visit, get my camp set up, and relax. And of course, then write our reflections for the day. Um, so that's to keep watching hiking for wellness and keep follows along our journey. Um, for those who are asking, yes, I think my spot tracker did run out of battery, and I didn't catch it quick enough. So. We may have been missing some um, bullets, but hey, again, I'm alive, I'm moving, I got the new batteries in my spot tracker. I'm going to crank it on right now. As you guys can see, this is what I've been talking about. This is what is following us along our journey. And so if you go to our website, you'll be able to keep following us. I'm just asking you to follow us. Please check out, um, check out our t-shirts as soon as we get them up. Uh, I'm going to call the t-shirt manufacturer as soon as I get a phone signal. Now that I've got their phone number. And we're going to get with our web designer and get that information on the web page as quick as what we can. I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you tomorrow. Have a good day.